Coming up in Spotlight, a New York City rabbi helped lead this past weekend's Muslim Day Parade in New York City. We'll ask him about that next. In Spotlight, thousands of people turned out for Sunday's annual Muslim Day Parade here in New York City. And for the first time in 32 years, a Jewish leader was asked to serve as the honorary Grand Marshal. That person is here with us in our studio this evening, Rabbi Mark Schneier, president of the Foundation for Ethnic Understanding. Rabbi, thanks for being here. Congratulations on being chosen. How did this come to pass? The Foundation for Ethnic Understanding that I've headed up for close to 30 years, we are seen as the global address for the building of Muslim-Jewish relations. We operate in close to 30 countries. We pioneered this field more than 10 years ago. And I'm proud that the Jewish community today in the U.S., that we're in the forefront of combating Islamophobia, anti-Muslim bigotry, that as Jews and Muslims, the children of Abraham, we share not only a common faith, but also a common fate. We see the pictures there of you in the midst of the crowd. What was it like being part of this? Very exciting. Um, many of my dear friends and colleagues you know, were there w within the Muslim community, but it was an opportunity to showcase the Jewish community's support for the American Muslim community. Uh, here in the U.S. It was the Jewish community that raised its voice in screaming protests to Trump's Muslim refugee ban. Uh, it's a Jewish community that has been in the uh, forefront of trying to stop the ethnic cleansing of Muslim Rohingyas in Myanmar. So uh, the Jewish community, you know, we, we have a history of recognizing that a people who fight for their own rights are only as honorable as when they fight for the rights of all people. And we have been there in solidarity with our Muslim brothers and sisters. Are those connections misunderstood in your estimation? There's no question they're misunderstood. But again, I'm looking at the trajectory now over the past 10 years. And today, and we can thank the president for that, for bringing Muslims and Jews closer together in this country. And um, I think that the state of Muslim-Jewish relations is one of cooperation and not one of conflict in the United States. Rabbi Mark Schneier, it's a uh, pleasure to have you here. And again, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.